or tranquilizer, taken the deer away and disposed of it outside of the family's property yeah. where their little kid witnessed the whole thing, and you can hear the kid crying. Uh, on the video. Yes. I mean, it was just Horrible. not handled well. Well, they really wanted to reinforce that ticket that they also gave them yeah. for unlawful possession of wildlife without permit. This will teach you. You won't be doing this again. Yeah. That'll teach them. They could have handled it much better. Uh, they could have also, you know what else they could have done? Uh, they could have just let these people that live like out in the middle of nowhere right. have a deer. Well, uh, just feed it. It's no different than me feeding deer or squirrels or birds out in my yard if they come and go. It's not like there was a collar on it. It wasn't like it was kept in a pen. And and you're right. Exactly. The deer was free to come and go. And they said they didn't plan on keeping it. And they raised it from, you know, kind of a small thing, so it was somewhat dependent. I, I get that. No. But what harm was it doing? A real lesson to learn here. They were found out because she posted on Facebook she hadn't seen the deer for a little while. Posted on Facebook, hey, uh, has anyone seen the deer? Yeah. And the NSA, or whoever, yeah. apparently was monitoring this, or some goody two-shoes probably turned her in. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and that's when the authorities showed up and said, hey, we saw on Facebook. Be careful what you put on Facebook. It's like another friend of mine in, in Michigan who, uh, well, no, it's the, the guy that got the ticket. In Michigan, and I don't know about other states, but in Michigan, it's really cold in the wintertime. So it's not unusual for people to go out and start their car up, go back into the house, drink a couple of sips of coffee, and wait a few minutes for their car to warm up and melt their windows and stuff. They go out in their car and they drive away. That's illegal in Michigan. It might be illegal in every state. I don't know. Well, because it's a, yeah, okay. It's not necessarily illegal in Michigan. Well, there's and we a, can get into that if you want, but we can. But it, you looked into that, and what did you? So find? there is there is a, a uniform traffic code that okay. cities can ah. uh, put as part of their ordinance. Okay, so it allows them to do it. Yeah. Now, so I w- is there there's not a state law? I didn't then? see a state law. Okay. Uh, what I'll tell you, and this is more of a for anybody, if you're looking at your local ordinances, they do this a lot, and I hate oh, yeah. it yeah. so much. They adopt this uniform traffic code, but right. they adopt it by reference, right. meaning so, the so. ordinance will say, we adopt this right. long name. Right. Doesn't, and that's doesn't pretty elaborate much it. It on doesn't what it is. doesn't say it. You've got to so go you can't and find search out for what it. You have is. to then – you have to know that. Right. You have to figure out how to find it. Yeah. The city I live in just adopted a an international code for um, zoning and construction and that sort of thing. International code. Oh, jeez. And – when I was at the meeting, they said you cannot get it online or anywhere else. You must go into City Hall, City Hall, because it's a big book, yeah. very expensive, and look through and it. And have to look through it. Yeah. So you can't find this anywhere, apparently. Jeez. To look through it, and it's it's insane. I hate government. Anyways, a ticket. It's a hundred twenty five dollar ticket in this uh, this city, Roseville, Roseville, Michigan. Horrible, horrible police force, by the way. And so he, yeah, we've had lots of issues with them with open carry and stuff like that. And uh, so he gets the ticket, right? And he's going to fight fight it. He's got an attorney pro bono that's going to handle the case. But one of my Facebook friends then posts a picture of his van in his driveway, started and goes, oh, look, I'm breaking the law. Ooh, look at that. And then got a ticket in the mail. Yeah, they they took him away. Well, yeah, I don't know where he's at. <laughs> Haven't seen him in days. Weird. Um, <laughs> I think he's working in the salt the mills van's still underneath running, the. No, uh, but so your point is, don't Detroit. do that because they could very easily show up, certainly, and harass him at the very least. At the very least, <clears throat> uh, it was still dark out in the morning, so it was hard to say if there was somebody in the van or not. He could say, "Well, I yeah, that's <clears throat> or if he I was in a, there, if he had a remote start with the doors locked." That there are some exemption exemptions for that. I mean, the idea is that <gasps> if you have your leave your keys in there with the engine started, uh, somebody could steal your car and that's a burden on the police. How is okay. that how is that your response? I mean, yeah. how are it's, you You're the you're the victim, but you're also <clears throat> You know, oh, it's, it's absolutely fault. 100% victim blame, blaming blame, the victim. Right. But how is there a crime before that happens? Right. If you let your car run, fine. If someone steals it and something happens, then maybe, and I don't agree with this either, but mm. then maybe look at you having some liability. Yeah. But if nothing happens, then there can't be a crime. Uh, uh, on the other hand, 
if I leave my wallet in my car unlocked and someone steals my wallet, that's really not my fault. Right. In the eyes that's of what the I'm law. saying. I don't agree. Yeah. I exactly. That's my point. Um, well, and a lot of people are saying, well, if you leave your gun out and a kid gets it and hurts somebody, you're liable. Well, sure, I but if I that. leave my gun out and nothing happens, I'm that, not liable for anything. There's right, no crime. Right. <laughs> right. It, it, it oh, it blows my yeah. mind. I, like when I, I walk around so my much. yard in a mini skirt, and I get raped. That's not my fault. That's happened twice now, but that's not my it's fault. Pretty much the same thing. I mean, yeah. it's the same argument, right? Is well, if you would have dressed differently, you wouldn't have been sexually harassed. Well, that's bull crap. Well, it's not. It's not your fault. To top it off, the chief, did you see, and, and I, oh, I yeah, saw yeah, that yeah. he tried to get the news agencies to take the video down. Yeah, the, the um, chief was not, is a, kind of a dink. Because they asked, because well, the, the guy's original post, he posted a picture of the ticket right. and said, officer dipshit, whatever. Yeah. Oops. Edit that. Um, Steve? <laughs> and Beep. God, he's late, late again. Late. <laughs> late. I think we have the delay backwards. Yeah. The delays on the beat. It's, it's, <laughs> Oops. it's seven seconds well, after. <laughs> so uh, and the, the news reporter asked, so you're going to throw the ticket away because this is insane? Very stupid. And he yeah. said, no, I'm not. Did you see what he did said? Did you see what he said about my officer? Drop dead. Yeah. That's nice. uh, how how <laughs> freaking professional are you? And apparently um, he's said other things like that on the record. Yeah. He's... Well, and I saw, because I, this fired me up, because this sort of stuff, it's not the most important thing in the world, but it really bugs me. It's a little thing. Uh, it really bugs me. It's a small pebble in your I, shoe, I, right? I, I found some uh, city council meetings from Roseville, the city of Roseville, where a whole stream of people were coming up saying, the chief told me to take care of the stray cats, that I just need to put them in a plastic bag and dunk them in water to take care of them. Yeah. Or the dogs around my house to just shoot them. Just shoot them, yeah. Which is against the law. You, you can't shoot dogs. Unless you're a cop. Yeah. And these people weren't cops. That's what right, I'm saying. That's it. I don't know if there's a law about, <laughs> law about drowning cats, but... Well, it's just generally frowned upon, at least. If we had a, a more time, I have a story about a bag of dead cats. Yeah, I, we don't, I don't, and I don't want to hear it. All right, so um, speaking of shooting deer, so there's this dumb guy who's trying to be empathetic to the police department and decides that he's going to show... That the police aren't going to shoot you just for no reason, which may be true. Yeah, <laughs> but what he did <laughs> is it gave him a reason. They gave him a pretty good. He gave him a pretty good reason. Uh, he gets out of his car at a traffic stop with a rifle, <laughs> and I think that's like the number one reason to get shot by they, a cop. They drilled him. <laughs> yeah, they well, drilled him and killed him. So. He didn't have a, a good experience. How does he feel his little experiment went? Uh, not good. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to see if he did die. It says here, man shot. I didn't think he did. Trying to prove. Uh, yeah, I didn't think it killed him. But but the, he was charged with attempted murder. That's what it was. <clears throat> he got shot, and they charged him with attempted murder of a police officer. Yeah, which is weird, right? And I don't know. I, I didn't see the video or anything, yeah. but that seems weird. Seems like it backfired on him. Well, yeah, really. and I don't know how how bright this guy was, and maybe he wanted suicide by cop. How bright he was? Not at all. Are you sure? Yes. He could have been uh, like Raymond uh, in Ray the movie. Raymond? Rain Man. Raymond? That was his this name. This guy was about as bright as you. Oh, yeah. Well, he deserves to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's not true always. All right. So what do you want to do? You want to do toll roll, a Florida nothing. shooting? How right. about, look, we've got 30 seconds. All right. The gun control movie, there's a gun, the anti, there's a gun control movie out there called Miss Sloan, right? It came out a few weeks ago, and it was averaging 10 people per day in ticket sales. Ooh. Yeah, it's a big flop. They spent millions, and nobody's going to see it. What does that tell you about America? How many views or how many ticket sales has your movie gotten, Brian? Uh, it has not gotten ten per day. Okay, then. Yeah. So what does that say? But You're I only invested it fifty dollars. They invested like thirty million. So, all right. Where are we at? What? Well, what? Well, uh, we're done. What? I think okay. so. Anything else? We, no, we're out of time. This is okay. Adot Show, AdotShow.com, Facebook.com slash Adot Show. Buy our shirt. Buy our shirt. Our shirt. MyParentsOpenCarry.com. 
See you Air next night. week. Bye-bye.